wondering if you can provide us any injury updates on the uh, no, Kurt Sumer's doing better. Max Aids, no, coming on. <clears throat> we'll see how he is today. Uh, hopefully, we'll start to get them closer to the first team in the in the coming weeks. And uh, we picked up one or two injuries, but I'm I'm just waiting to see how they are. Picked up a couple of injuries from midweek, so I need to see how they go as well and see the medical team later on today. Uh, obviously, you mentioned midweek. Very disappointing to get knocked out of the cup. We played. Probably quite a, quite a good game. You, can you take quite a lot of positives from that? Do you think that you're kind of moving in the right direction now? Yeah, I can take a lot of positives from it. But uh, obviously, I, I said at the time, and I still felt the same disappointed. I think we had a, we had a huge opportunity to, to get through in the cup, and we didn't quite make it. I hate to bring it up, but after the game, Borky had quite a lot to say, very critical of the defence, and also Declan Rice saying that we needs to do a lot more to become a top midfielder. I was wondering if you had any response to that. Well, I, I, Roy was correct as far as uh, as the defence went. We were we were poor in the late later part of the game, but <clears throat> in recent weeks we we just get a clean sheet against Notts Forest, and you know we've defended pretty well for for most parts of the season. It's probably been one of our, our strongest areas, even though we we agree that it has to be better. But I totally agree. The last uh, the last five or ten minutes was not that good. And last time out in the league, obviously as you mentioned a great result. Danny Ings coming back from injury, scoring a brace. How important? Is he, and how impressed have you been with what you've seen from him so far? Well, what I've seen is what I expected, and, and what I hope we will continue to get from Danny is that he's uh, he scored goals throughout his career. We we hope that he continues to do so, and I think sometimes strikers, when they come into their sort of their, their I wouldn't say their final years, but nearer the end, I think they know the they know the job even better. You know, they know exactly how they should do it, where they should be. They have the nose to do it. So maybe not have the same uh, dynamic speed as maybe they had when they were younger, but certainly uh, their brain gets them into the right positions, which uh, obviously gives them the chance of scoring. It's a tough game tomorrow away at Brighton. I think winless in 10 on the road. Can you sort of pinpoint why the, the away form might have been like that and how you can remedy that? Well, we've always, Brighton have been a bit of a bogey team for us, so we have to try and overcome it and we have to change that if we can. Uh, and yes, you're right about our away form. Our away form this year has been disappointing. We need to find a way of. But recently, we've just had a draw at Newcastle, uh, away from home. So we've had uh, we a draw at Leeds United as well, just prior to that. So we've got to find a way of picking up points on the road. And uh, we'll try and do that again this weekend. I'm quite interested in the last few games you've reverted to a 4 3 3, which just kind of seems to allow a lot more attacking freedom. Seems to kind of pressing better as well. Is that something that you're looking forward to kind of going with into, into the final stage of the season? Well, I hope all your tactical uh, uh, views are, are correct because that sounds as if it's good and it's going the right direction. We we played that way early in the season. We couldn't get results and we had to make some changes. So we changed uh, to see if we could get ourselves steady uh, and won a few games. And I have to say we'll come through a period where we, we've played with three at the back. We'll continue to chop and change for the games where we think we need to do so. Uh, we've we've tried to find a way of scoring more goals, and that might just be the difference with with new players coming in. Might be the difference to that as much as anything. Is the systems can can work sometimes. Sometimes they don't. Uh, in recent weeks, we've we've played a system which got some good results. So let's hope it continues. Sure, just a final one for me. How impressed have you been with what you've seen from Brighton, and what kind of tactical challenge you expect? Uh, I think we've all been impressed with Brighton over many years because of their, their build, I think their, their model. I think there's models throughout Europe which are are, uh, are interesting and exciting to look at. I, I always uh, talk about the Red Bull model and how well they, they've done it over the years with their clubs. Uh, I think Brighton have now got themselves, I don't know how many years they've been at it now, maybe 10 years Brighton. You can see their, their players that they've brought in it you know, younger. They've been willing to uh, go out and look to buy young players who are maybe not ready, give them a few years before they put them in the team and they've got so many good young players, Brighton coming through now, so uh, all credit to Brighton as a football club and how they've done it. Uh, it's not everybody does it the same way, but how Brighton are doing it at the moment are, are doing a very good job. Thanks a lot. <coughs> Hi, morning. Morning. A similar question from my colleague here, the performance overall at Old Trafford was very positive, but is it the level of resiliency you're hoping to see being improved moving forward? Yeah, well, I used to use the word flaky here at, at West Ham and uh, I got rid of it, to be honest, because we've not been that over the last couple of years, but we certainly were in the last 15 minutes at Old Trafford. So 
we disappointed in those those last 15 minutes of the game. Uh, from my point of view, for most of the game, we put on a good show. But it's no point in being that, no point in coming and turning up and doing it for a period and then not, not fulfilling it right to the end. Because that's probably where my disappointment, my anger came from, was that it's not the way my teams play. And I, I said that after the game. Why do you think Brighton have been able to really frustrate West Ham for, for so many years? don't know. You need to ask uh, so many of the other managers, including me, that it's not just been me who it's been hard for against Brighton, it's been several managers. Roberto Di Zerbi's first season in the Premier League, how impressed have you been with the way he managed to adapt so quickly? I think he has adapted really well. I think I think himself and, again, Brighton have tended to pick and choose very well, whether it be players or managers. Uh, you know, the choosing of Graham Potter, certainly now the choice of... Uh, the new manager's been very good, so I think the, I think he's fitted in very well. I think he's a good start, but uh, longevity in the Premier League's not easy to come by. So you have to keep ploughing out the wins. You have to keep trying to find a way of getting results. And there's always difficult times in the Premier League. It's never, never just one way. You're back to Europe next week. How challenging do you expect it to be from from now on? Rotation of the squad, dealing with fatigue and recovery. Well, it's always not an easy thing when we play Thursday, Sunday football. I don't think the Premier League and it's your channel has helped us by, by putting this game on on Saturday, that's for sure, because we played Wednesday, Saturday, and I think that could have easily been helped. But I don't think it's something the Premier League go out of the way to do is to help, necessarily. So so we take it, no problem, we turn up and we play, but we're going to have to play a lot of Thursday, Sundays, which we're looking forward to because being in Europe's a big, big thing. Simon? It was mentioned that Roy, Roy had mentioned after the game about Declan, and I know you praised him a lot, but is it just part of the status that he has at this club and in the game is in general that people will make assessments about him and analyse him and find mm -hmm. improvement from him? I, I think uh, Declan's played really well for us. Uh, I think he's, for a young player to be, what, 40 England caps? No doubt he's going to go on to be an England captain in the future, or I think so. And uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I think he's played really, really well. And I think he's uh, he's going to go on and be a top player. He's got different attributes. And I believe that uh, that he's going to, going to come out in the future, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be at West Ham. That's a, That would be our choice. We'd like it to be here. But I believe uh, he'll go on to be a really good player. But what I will say is Roy Keane was probably the best midfield player of his generation and can certainly spot a good player because uh, he played that position incredibly well over the, over many, many years. I mean, people forget that Declan is still very young. Yeah. So you wouldn't expect that he's the finished article at, at this point in his career, would you? Uh, I, I think Declan's a really good player and I think that, you know he'll prove it. And I don't think he is. It, no, he's not going to be finished just now. But he will improve with age, Declan. He will, and he, and he is doing. He's proving that to be the case at the moment. Can I just ask you on a, on a wider perspective on that? I don't know whether you've got an opinion on this, but there's a lot of talk, again, about Newcastle, the money that has gone into that club and the way that that uh, ha, ha, could impact on the Premier League. But there's a suggestion that the assurances that are given about the ownership of that club and the Saudi Arabian government may not be accurate because of something that, that is a different argument to do with live golf. Yeah. Are, they, are they situations that clubs, that managers such as yourself, take any notice of or do you just prepare teams? And yeah, you just, I, I mean, I, I've not got the political mindset to know exactly what it's all about, to be honest, Simon, I don't know exactly, but <clears throat> we, do, we do work under stringent rules here, as you can see, and uh, I would hope that the people who are assessing the, the owners would always get it right. So I have to believe that uh, that Newcastle are fine and at the moment their, their club's running very well and their team's doing very well, I should say.